hopefully I can get home, sleep for a couple hours, come back, and then uh, I've got some more homework to finish up, but the project is done. I'm Adam Wingate. I am a senior in chemical engineering with the College of Engineering, and I'm originally from Cheyenne, Wyoming. The eastern half of the state is all flat plains where it blows wind a lot, and that's where I'm from. I love Wyoming. It's definitely an acquired taste. I was looking to get out, but I wasn't necessarily running away. And uh, I got the scholarship, which was, uh, it's called the Star Scholarship, only for uh, Wyoming high school graduates and only if you're going to Michigan State University. So it was kind of my one-way ticket out of there. You want them to spread their wings and you want them to grow, but they're still a little bit inside of you that's uh, still a, a parent and they, you'd love to have them around, but you know that they're, they're gonna do bigger and better things wherever they're gonna be. Well, I, I've always liked math and science. And so the fact that I'm still kind of doing that and I'm learning, Getting some hands-on application in the lab is great too. So just kind of the whole experience, really. There's um, uh, quite a bit of um, collaboration within our chemical engineering, within our grade. So I'm in a group for biochem, and I'm in a different group for controls, and I'm in a different group for design, but it's all the same class. So what it boils down to is all of us hang out in this room together for just seven or eight straight hours and just if you need to work with your controls people, you go find your controls people and they're all in the same room. So it's just, it's like a big engineering party. A lot of our issues aren't, you know, how do we solve this problem in Lansing or this problem in the United States. A lot of our professors have global outreach and a lot of them have global influence and travel to different parts of the world to, you know, do engineering things. I don't know. But uh, it's, it's interesting and I, I like that kind of big picture idea. But we all have the exact same projects and we're all, I mean, I, I know probably a third at least of the people in that room and they're all I know all the projects they're working on and so it's we're all going through it together so it's not that bad. So the idea was for um, uh, desalinating water. So you would run the wa salt water through the membrane and the electric charge within the membrane pulls the salt out and fresh water can pass on through. Or you can produce fresh water from the sea and it's cheap and easy uh, water desalination. So I've got my non-engineering friends and I've got all of my engineering friends. And then I've got the fencing group, and the fencing group has always kind of been my release from the other two. I mean, I'm not gonna say that I'm not loud and bombastic usually, but it especially manifests when I fence. Let's go stand on three. One, two, three, let's go stand Loud, yeah. <laughs> I yell and scream and like to make a big fool of myself, but it's, it, I can definitely see that. My first two weeks on campus was just going to different clubs and I tried water polo and I tried Aikido and I tried a number of different community service clubs and I tried uh, Ultimate Frisbee Club and it just the list goes on and on and on and then finally one day I just walked in the door of the gym and the president, men's captain at the time, walked up and shook my hand and just, it was a hook and I, I never looked back. It was just kind of by chance. At first it was really cool to go get my fencing stuff and pick it out and wave it around and show people. He gets into what he does, he gives us he gives his whole heart for everything that he's that he's into and what he's doing. So. In the process of waving it around or telling some big animated story. Are you ever gonna fix that? Oh well, we could. But I kinda like it. <laughs> it's, it. It's reasonable to put one through the ceiling every now and then. We've been working on this project for two and a half, three weeks now, and so the first bit was doing a bunch of hand calculations, and that was an all-nighter. I, I would say the whole thing's probably at least 100 man hours. So it's, uh, it's 5.20 in the morning. I am still in the engineering building, as you can see. There were um, some nights last semester and this semester as well where uh, 16 straight hours in the uh, engineering computer lab, so that was, those were rough. Well, I got home just a little bit before two o'clock this morning, I guess, and made up like two dozen Hot Pockets, or no, uh, the pizza rolls and just went to town. It was just scraping by, so lots of takeout or bread. Like I said, you think I'm kidding, but take a piece of bread and eat it. No cheese, no, just, just plain old bread, and that's got by on that. I don't know if we're allowed to give advice through this thing, but if you move off campus, get a meal plan. Like spend the, you know, whatever it is, 50 bucks and get like 25 meals or something. Cause it's totally and completely worth it. It's so nice to have real food again. I eat vegetables now, never thought that would happen again. Um, yeah, it's great, it's great. 
you know, four years have gone by so fast, but I, in some ways I feel like we're just starting and I, I can't believe it's coming to an end. So he's just made the most of, of the whole time there and I'm just so excited for him and excited for his last semester and everything that's coming next for him. It wasn't necessarily hard to leave, but I could see myself going back. For a uh, single 20-something year old guy, it's probably not the best place to be, but um, maybe a few years down the road, I could definitely see myself moving back there for a more permanent job.